Hello fellow Canadian YouTubers, if you're into Star Choice or Shaw Direct Satellite Service and you're trying to put up your own dish, here is a little lesson for you. Recently, actually three years ago I had a service call, a gentleman could get no signal at all. I tried and tried and tried and it took three days but we finally figured it out and I'll let you in on the little secret in just a minute. So just recently I go to another call where a person is getting minimal signal. They purchased a dish from Kijiji, minimum signal. So they called me. I go over to check it out. The maximum signal I could get was 50 using this dish right here. That's it right there. Maximum 50. And a regular dish right there should be getting at least 80 on a clear sunny day. Again, this is Star Choice, which is now known as Shaw Direct in Canada right there shot direct so what's the problem well let me show you firstly these dishes are made by channel master if you can read the label there look on the back of your dish make sure you've got part or sorry mold number 60 e mold number 60 e all right the old dish that i brought home with me you can barely make it out because it is a very old dish and uh, it is a channel master and it is a 60E. You might not be able to read it on the label on the video but it is. So what's the problem? The problem is something that took me three days to figure out three years ago and once again I've come across this problem. Look at the two dishes except for the age they're exactly the same. Even the L and B's on the end. That's an older one made by Samsung. That one, I'm not sure who makes it, but they're both the same. Dual quad L and B's. But that's not the problem. If you look at the arm, check out the arm. Does the arm look any different to you? Alright, there's the there's the problem dish. And here's the good dish. See any problems there? Doesn't look like any issues, does it? Well, guess what? There is. This one is too short. Somebody cut it. I guess it was damaged. I don't know what happened. It was cut. And how long is that? I put a label on there. 16 inches. 16 inches long. Again, this is the bad dish. This is a good dish. What are we at? That's the proper length of a 60E dish. 17 and 3 quarter inches. So if you buy a dish and it's a 60E, make sure the arm length is 17 and 3 quarter inches. Otherwise the focal points are wrong and you will never ever achieve optimum signal. You can get your TV to work, that's great. You know, your signal's at 50, you're watching TV, you think everything's great on a sunny day, but as soon as you put clouds into the mix or it starts raining, you're finished. So please be careful. So in the last three years, this is the second dish I found. And somebody has probably pieced it together from parts, or the original arm was bent, so they made up their own here. And I knew something was wrong because the original L and B that came on here, which I've removed, wouldn't fit on there properly because the hole for the screw was also in the wrong location. Anyways, I hope that helps. Take care. Any questions? Just reply to uh, make a comment, and I'll get back to you.